The woman at the center of one of the most notorious murders in America's civil rights history has died. Carolyn Bryant's accusation led to the killing of 14-year-old Emmett Till in Mississippi in 1955. And nearly 70 years on, there is still no justice. Bryant had said Till came into her store in Money, Mississippi and touched her and insulted her. A story that's always been questioned, with reports she made it all up. A few days later, Bryant's husband and half-brother abducted Till, tortured him, shot him in the head and dumped his body in the river. Till's mother decided to have an open casket funeral so that America could see what the racism of the South had done to her son. The two men did go on trial, but an all-white jury found them not guilty. They later both admitted they'd killed Till, but they were now protected by double jeopardy. Till's family always sought justice and they wanted Carolyn Bryant to be punished for her role in his abduction and his killing. But last year, a grand jury looked back into the case and decided not to indict her. Civil rights activists now fear that her death means there will never be any justice for Till or his family.